Hi, my name is Mike Thurdle. I'm the CEO at Bethesda Lutheran Communities, and we're headquartered in Watertown, Wisconsin, uh, but we operate across the United States of America in 13 different states. We support people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. me to Bethesda is the opportunity to help other people. That's something I like to do, I love to do, I love, I have a passion for helping people. And when I had a chance to see the mission here at Bethesda six years ago, I was just smitten with the mission. To be able to support people with intellectual and developmental disabilities and to truly create liberty and independence for them in ways that they've never experienced before. To see people thrive in the community, to get the chance to go to the church they want to go to, to work in the kinds of jobs they want to. That's really what motivates me to be here. Even though our country has come a long way in the last hundred years, there's still people out there in society today that they just don't get it. And it's about as simple as I can say is they just don't get it. They look at people with different kinds of disabilities as outsiders. What I see is that when I talk to people, I literally use a very similar language to what Brandon's using. Now, I, I haven't thought about the phrase different abilities until he brought it up, and I think it's an awesome way to tell people that story. But I talk to people about all abilities, like different things that people can do that they, they're passionate about, things that they love to do in their life. We all have different gifts that God has given to us, um, different opportunities that are presented to us every single day. I mean, there's things that I'm not good at that somebody else might be good at. And that's kind of how I look at this. And I talk to people that way in, in, in society today about our mission. It's about how can we lift up each other? How can we recognize these different abilities so that we can look at those as strengths and not weaknesses? And I think that's a lot of what this comes down to, to me, is that people tend to look at people with develop, intellectual or developmental disabilities or physical disabilities like it's a weakness. It's not a weakness. Um, every one of us has weaknesses. Some are observable and some aren't. I've got all kinds of weaknesses. You may not be able to tell by just looking at me, but there's a lot of things that we can all improve upon and get better at. And again, it's really what God has given to us is our, our talents. I, I like his use of the word differently able. It's a much better term. And why is it a better term? Because one, it's true. The word disabled means like you've taken away from something or again there's a weakness or there's a threat or there's not a capability and that's not what that's not what goes on today in life. People with different abilities have different strengths, different talents, different loves, different passions. It's all about how we have a diversity amongst all of us as fellow human beings and what we can do to help each other. Absolutely yes. Everybody, and that's one of the great things about our country, being Americans especially, is that every single one of us has the opportunity to do the things that we want to do. You know, there's countries around the world today where people do not have that opportunity. There are people, not just people with disabilities, but people with other abilities that don't have opportunities, whether because of their gender or their race or their religious background. 
But what makes our country great is that everybody has the opportunity. I'd love for the people that we support, not just people we support, but people across our country, people across the planet, to have those opportunities to do what they want to do, whether it's work or play or worship or whatever makes their life awesome. That's what to me it's about. Thank you so much for, Brandon, giving me the opportunity to talk to this today. I'm so excited about what you're doing to change people's mindsets, to change the vocabulary, to change how people look at people with different abilities. So thank you so much, Brendan. I really wish you the best with your project.